Hello, grade 10s. Today, we will be determining the trigonometric ratios of special angles and going through how to use them. This is something that you need to learn off by heart, so pay close attention. We will be using the Cartesian plane to find the trigonometric ratios of special angles 0, 30, 45, 60, and 90 degrees. To do this, we're going to use a radius arm or terminal ray with a length of two units. Remember that a radius arm or terminal ray would be considered the hypotenuse in a triangle. Also remember that x value is like the adjacent side and the y value is like the opposite side. This circle is drawn with a radius of two units and its center is at the origin. Let's draw a radius arm at 30 degrees. We'll mark the point on the circle. A. We can use all the information given to solve for the values of x and y. To find the trigonometric ratios, we have to complete a right angle triangle by drawing a line perpendicular to the x-axis to point A. This creates a right angled triangle. At the moment, we know the length of the radius, or the hypotenuse of the triangle. We also know the angle between the radius and the x-axis is 30 degrees. Let's solve for x and y. Let's use the sine ratio to solve for y. Sine of 30 degrees equals y over 2. Multiply both sides by 2, and this leaves us with with 2 sine 30 equals y. Using our calculator, press 2 times sine 30, close brackets, and equals. We find the y is equal to 1. Let's add this to the calculation. Now that we know the value of r and y, let's find the value of x. We could do this with trig ratios, but let's use the Pythagoras theorem for a change. The theorem states that the square of the hypotenuse side is equal to the sum of the squares of the two shorter sides. This means that 2 squared will equal 1 squared plus x squared. Simplifying this, we get 4 equals 1 plus x squared. Subtracting 1 from both sides will make 3 equal to x squared. This means our final answer is x is equal to the square root of 3. The completed diagram looks like this. Let's put this data into a triangle. Our special angle is 30 degrees. Because angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees, we know that the other angle is equal to 60 degrees. The hypotenuse is 2 units, and the other two sides are the square root of 3 and 1. Take a moment and copy this down. Using this triangle, we can find any trig ratios for 30 and 60 degrees without a calculator. Let's try a problem quickly. Determine without the use of a calculator, the value of 4 sine 30 plus cos 60 minus cosec 30. We can answer this by using the special triangle that includes 30 and 60 degrees. From Sokotoha, we know that sine equals opposite over hypotenuse. Cos equals adjacent over hypotenuse. Cosec is the reciprocal of sine, so it equals hypotenuse over opposite. From our triangle, we see that sine 30 equals 1 over 2, cos 60 equals 1 over 2, and cosec 30 equals 2 over 1. Substitute these values in, and we get 4 times a half plus a half minus 2. This is simplified to 2 plus a half minus 2, which is equal to half. 
Questions involving special angles will often look like that one. We need to apply our knowledge of trig ratios, reciprocals, and special angles to solve for them. Let's move on to the special angle of 45 degrees. Once again, we'll start with a circle with a radius of two units and its center on the origin. We'll plot A so that AOX is equals to 45 degrees. In order to determine the trigonometric ratios, we have to complete a right angle triangle by drawing the line from point A, X, Y, perpendicular to the X axis. We see that the third angle in the triangle is also equal to 45 degrees because the sum of the angles adds up to 180 degrees. This means that it is an isosceles triangle. In other words, the two sides X and Y are equal. Let's use the Pythagoras theorem to solve for them. Therefore, X squared plus Y squared equals 2 squared. Because X and Y are equal, let's rewrite this as X squared plus X squared is equal to 2 squared. Therefore, 2X squared equals 4. Dividing both sides by 2, X squared will equal 2. Taking the square root on both sides will give us that X will be equal to the square root 2. This means that y is also equal to the square root of 2. The completed diagram looks like this. The completed triangle looks like this. Take a moment and copy it down. We have now seen the special triangles that include the angles 30, 45 and 60 degrees. Let's try a question that includes all of them. Determine without the use of a calculator the value of sine 60 degrees plus 6 squared 45 degrees minus 1 half cot 30 degrees. Remember that 6 squared 45 means sec 45 multiplied by sec 45. From Sokotoha, Sine equals opposite over hypotenuse, sec equals hypotenuse over adjacent, and cot equals adjacent over opposite. From our triangle, we see that sine 60 equals square root 3 over 2. Sec 45 equals square root 2 over 2. And cot 30 equals square root Therefore, sine 60 degrees plus 6 squared 45 degrees minus 1 half cot 30 degrees is equal to square root 3 over 2 plus 2 over square root 2 squared minus half times square root 3. This can be simplified to positive square root 3 over 2 plus 2 minus square root 3. This gives us a final answer of 2. We have gone through the special angles of 30, 45 and 60 degrees. The last two angles we need to learn are 0 and 90 degrees. If we put these on the Cartesian plane with a radius arm length of 2 units, it is easy to calculate their values. Here is a diagram showing all the special angles. At 0 degrees, R is equal to 2, X is equal to 2, and Y is equal to 0. At 90 degrees, R is equal to 2, X is equal to 0, and Y is equal to 2. Let's put all these values into a table. Take a moment to copy down these values. If you can memorize this table, you will be able to tackle any trigonometry problem involving special angles. Thank you for joining us, Grade Tens. Please look at the task video for more practice on reciprocal ratios. You will also find more information on trigonometry at www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Goodbye.